Good morning, Tony. You seem very happy this morning. Oh, uh, good morning, Lula. Of course I'm happy, and you should be too. You know why? Today is our anniversary. Yes. <laughs> Today we celebrate 20 years of service with Metro Golden Mayor. Oh, yes, Tony. Now I remember. That was in 1924. 1924 was a great year, Lulu. It's a long time ago. But it seems only yesterday that right over there, King Vidor was making the big parade. Right you are, Tony. And the big parade still lives as one of the great pictures of all time. John Gilbert and Rene Addery with the stars. Soon afterwards came Ben Hur with the thrilling and spectacular chariot race. Ramon Navarro and Francis X. Bushman in the leading role. Exciting events were happening in 1924. Calvin Coolidge was president. Four airplanes of the United States Army circled the globe 28,945 miles in 371 flying hours. The United States team won the Olympic Games in Paris, France. American skill and courage again was demonstrated when Lieutenant Russell Maughan raced the sun from sea to sea in the first dawn to dusk flight. For the first and only time in professional baseball, the Washington Senators won a World Series, defeating the New York Giants in an exciting 12-inning game, 4-3. Yes, 1924 was an exciting year, and movie theater audiences the country over were applauding a great actor, Lon Chaney, and a beautiful girl destined for stardom, Norma Shear, in He Who Gets Slapped. Spectacular wedding ceremonies highlighted a picture called Confessions of a Queen, starring a handsome young leading man. Recognize him? That's right, Louis Stone, Judge Hardy to you and the father of fabulous Andrew Hardy. 1924 slick chicks were groovy with a rug cutter called the Charleston. Dame Fashion played fancy tricks with Milady's duds that year, as revealed in scenes from two silent films, Cheaper to Marry and Wife of a Centaur. Ho ho, sister. Who said today's screen lovelies held priority on draping over the eye hairdos? What's wrong with this peekaboo bob Blanche sweet effects in the sporting Venus. As time races forward, our scenes change from 1924 to 1944. Metro Golden Mayor, says Life magazine, means more to the moving picture business than any other single name. Today's MGM studio, spreading over hundreds of acres, is a far cry from the 40 acres of yesteryear. Then, six small stages and only 600 employees. Today, a teeming industrial center employing a daily average of 5,000 people, representing 170 arts and crafts. The two location lots contain atmospheric streets, jungles with elephants and other animals, a lake, foreign villages, a fleet of seaworthy ships. The movie camera's all-seeing eye now projects our sights to the location unit working there in the distance as we watch a scene starring Wallace Beery. And in being asked to officiate as the principal speaker... <laughs> Movie cameras at MGM are busily recording many great motion pictures for your entertainment. Come with us now to the intimate studio theater for preview scenes of forthcoming Metro-Golden-Mayer hits. <laughs> World famous novels of today and yesterday, whose moving stories have thrilled millions, now become great motion pictures. From the pages of Alice Dewar Miller's vivid and human love story, The White Clips of Dover, springs a powerful and dramatic screen event, starring Irene Dunn with Alan Marshall. So proud are we of the White Clips of Dover that we have chosen it as the official anniversary picture. The scene that I was thinking of, what if I'd never met him? Well, for one thing, you wouldn't be traipsing around the country from one airfield to another trying to catch up with me. 
happen for another. You wouldn't be having a baby right in the middle of a war. Glad you were. For the benefit of those who haven't already guessed, we're going straight to Japan. Very much, Major Partington. If you'd go to bed and leave me alone. Oh, that would be a pity. I have such romantic things to say to you. I'm sure you say them to every woman you meet. Yes, but with infinite variations. <laughs> Pearl Buck's valiant story of courageous modern China, of its people, of their struggle for freedom and democracy. Dragon Seed presents Catherine Hepburn, Walter Houston, Aline McMahon, Durham Bay, Akeem Tamiro. Great motion pictures, great stars, and Hollywood's most popular young players. Carefully groomed and trained in important supporting roles, they are truly the stars of tomorrow. June Ellison, Lucille Bremer, Gloria DeHaven, Tom Drake, Ava Gardner, Francis Gifford, Jackie Jenkins, Angela Lansbury, Marilyn Maxwell, Dorothy Morris, Francis Rafferty, Donna Reed, Phyllis Thaxter, Jacqueline White. Soon you'll be cheering them to the crest of movie fame to stand proudly side by side with the stars of today. respectfully salutes those members of its great family who now are serving Uncle Sam. Office workers, laborers, technical experts, directors, stars and featured players. More than 1,100. We're proud of them. And wheresoever they may be, we know that you too wish them and all the men and women in the service of their country Godspeed and safe return.